Dad, thank you for another wonderful, beautiful day to worship you, to fellowship with you. Thank you for your majestic presence. Thank you for your congregation. Thank you for your word. Thank you for Yahushua. Thank you for Rahakadesh. Thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for being our God and Father. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Matthew 28, 17. May the reading of God's word bless you. Choose your side. Choose your side. Everybody has an opinion. Everyone is choosing a side. You can't be neutral on an issue like this one. Apathy? Not this time. It's one side or the other. All have to choose, and choose they did. For every cunning Cyprus, there was a daring Nicodemus. For every cynical Herod, there was a questioning Pilate. For every pot mouth thief, there was a truth seeking one. For every turncoat Judas, there was a faithful John. There was something about the crucifixion that made every witness either step toward it or away from it. It simultaneously compelled and repelled. And today, 2,000 some years later, the same is true. It's the watershed. It's the continental divide. It's Normandy. And you are either on one side or the other. A choice is demanded. We can do what we want with the cross. We can examine its history. We can study its theology. We can reflect upon its prophecies. Yet, the one thing we can't do is walk away in neutral. No fence sitting is permitted. The cross, its absurd splendor, doesn't allow this. Listen, the cross, its absurd splendor, doesn't allow that. That is the one luxury that God in his awesome mercy doesn't permit. On which side are you? If you're not sure, let's get it done right now. Please repeat this prayer after me. Father, God, your word says, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Yahushua is Lord and a Savior, and you raised him from the dead, 
I shall be saved. I confess it right now, Father, in the name of Yahushua. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 